Hello there. What is going on everyone today? We are taking a look into Zombicide 2nd Edition with the arrival of the latest Kickstarter from Simon, and uh, this one was awesome because it showed up unexpectedly and we are going to be unboxing this. Also, if you guys are new here, be sure to enter to win that $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Let's get to all of these minis because this is what Simon does. They give you a million miniatures per Kickstarter. So, uh, and I think I got everything except for the RPG that came with this one because I didn't see myself really doing a zombie RPG, but uh, I think I got just about everything else. So uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so we're gonna start with the core set and, or the, the base game. I'm so used to calling everything a core set. We've got uh, a rule book here, and we've got oh, everything in this kind of insert. And this is a thick rule book too, and it's just gonna have all your different scenarios. Um, and, and one of the things that I've, I, I've played a lot of Zombie Side. It's one of my one of the few Star Wars games I've are the few one of the few non Star Wars games I've played a ton of um, between the original Zombie Side and then Black Plague, which is my current favorite. But this um, it, it, the second edition as a whole had a lot of improvements that, uh, you know, it brought a lot of the improvements that Black Plague had brought to the game and then applied those kind of to the base game, as well as a couple of really cool features to kind of make set up and tear down a little bit quicker. So uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. But there's also scenarios, which you don't have to use. Um, a, a lot of times, like if I'm playing with the kids, I'll just take some tiles and I'll build my own scenario. So we've got, oh, all right. So we've got um, all of our starter survivor cards here. Uh, they used to be longer dashboards, and now they are um, they're smaller, kind of like in Black Plague. Uh, they're, you're gonna have these hard plastic dashboards, which are, by the way, awesome. Uh, these are fantastic. They just make gameplay so much easier. And how many of these do we get? Um, we got one, three more, so four. Five, six. <clears throat> okay. Which means, I guess there's only six. Maybe maybe you can play with more. We've got all of our cards cards here. These are um, our full color cards, and uh, so they look a little different. Like there's a definitely a design difference, but they look really actually these look really really nice. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. They look uh, and you're gonna have your your zombie cards and of course your um, your loot cards and all kinds of other cards that are in there. Uh, we've got, instead of making all the survivors their own colors, now the survivors are all orange. Uh, and we are going to have different ringed bases and pegs. The pegs are going to go into those boards to indicate where you are. They used to use a slider system. They're not doing that here. Uh, we've got basic six-sided dice, which is what the game will use. And then we've got all of these minis. And there's more, there's more components underneath here, too. Let's take a look at some of these minis. So we'll look at some of the survivors first. And I think uh, they kind of recast the original six from the core zombie sign. And, and, and the, the art style and the sculpting has really gotten uh, very nice over the years. Um, for Especially for single, you know, single mini pieces. There's no assembly required with these. Um, yeah, I think they've definitely, they've really improved. There's a ton of detail in here. A little bit of mold line in there. Not, not bad. Really, really, these are very nice. Um, oh, look at this one. Look at all that detail in the back. Yeah, I painted all of my original zombie sign before I would play it. I had to paint everything. So the problem is, I'm not painting this one, or at least not before I play it, because I want to play it. I want to have fun. And uh, not that painting isn't fun. Look at this abomination, man. This is huge. Look at all that SWAT gear on him, too. Very nice. But I don't want to get caught in this trap of I can't play this game until it's painted uh, and then I'm stuck waiting, you know, six months or, or more <laughs> to play. Uh, and so as I do that to myself, so I've got to save myself from my own uh, my own craziness. All right, we've got all the zombies here. I'm going to hold the tray up. Let's get a closer look. We'll start with the, uh, they call them fatties. I call them big guys or, or, or big big zombies just because I play with the kids, and I don't want the kids getting used to saying things like fatty. Even though it's the name of a game term, I don't like that term, so 
We just call them big zombies. Or maybe actually they might have a, a new name in this version edition of zombies. In the original, they were always called zombies. Look at all the, look at some different look at all these different zombie sculpts. But uh, I know a lot of people who will back this that don't even um, don't even back it for the game, but back Simon Kickstarters just for the minis. These are really cool. I'm probably not going to put them away in this exact holder because that's one thing that really slows down uh, your sessions is like, oh, I have to I have to sort this all out and put it back perfectly. I'm like, I'm not, if I'm not painting these, I don't really care if they rub up against one another. I just want to have a fun game. And that's one of the things that Zombie Side, one of the reasons it's been so successful is because it is a fun game that really delivers... Um, and, and it's, it's, it's by and large, a cooperative game. It is definitely a co-op, but you can kind of make it a semi-co-op by saying whoever has the most XP at the bottom is, is the winner. Um, so you can do that, but, but what a great, like, introductory game to get somebody new into gaming. Because you've got, um, you can tell them kind of what to do on their turn, right? Um, so one thing that's kind of cool is all of the buildings now have doors on the cardboard um, and the doors are already closed so what you used to have to do is you used to have to put out door tokens for every single opening and now you only have to put out door tokens once a door is smashed in so they they default to their closed um, you know uh, or their, their closed state which is really cool so we've got some more of this stuff I'm not gonna go through all the cardboard because I don't want this to take forever we got a lot more boxes to get through <clears throat> All right, next is the reboot box. This one is kind of like basically all your stretch goals um, and a couple of other cool things in here to, um, to help players who had the first zombie sign uh, get kind of, kind of caught up because I, I believe this is just about every um, survivor card for the original zombie side and I think all of the expansions and stuff like this has a lot and this is all just, just converting them. Now, you can even use these if you don't have it, like because you. I think you have a new, like a, a 2.0 version of Amy and all the other characters, so you could probably just use these cards with the minis. But if you got all your old 1.0 stuff, and of course I painted them all to look just like their artwork at the time, you've got that. Plus you've got all of the, um, oh my goodness, nunchucks. We got a nunchuck? Is that a Jackie Chan with nunchucks? What? We got none. They put. I didn't know they put nunchucks in this game. Didn't know they put nunchucks. Oh my gosh, I'm very, very happy. We've got all of our survivor cards for the stretch goals here, and um, and and uh, and then of course all of the actual uh, the ex special equipment, and then all the special zombie cards because we got a lot of uh, yes, and that is by the way that is Shia LaBeouf, actual cannibal because a lot of the stretch goals tends to be based off of pop culture references. And we're gonna look at some of these abominations right here if I can if I can get this open. Because the abominations are tends to be the biggest. Oh, oh, this is sealed with tape, so we've got to open that. But the abominations tend to be the biggest and uh, most difficult zombies to kill. And uh, let's see, I'm not even sure if I remember exactly who everybody is. Is this like Slender Man? Oh, we've got like Man Bear Pig. Very cool. We've got. Uh, is this the Mummy? It might be somebody more specific, I'm not sure. And of course, Cthulhu. I did not end up backing Cthulhu Death May Die in a wolf or a werewolf. Perhaps he's nasty looking. Um, I didn't back Cthulhu Death May Die. I ended up, you know, so every once in a while you have to make some tough choices on, on which Kickstarters you are able to afford and which ones you're not. And, one I canceled out on, so at least I have a food in it. Whoa, look at all of these. Okay, we've got... And so this is all stretch goals, so you are also going to get some extra regular zombies, too. So we've got some extra regular zombies down here. They're, they're the dark... They're the dark, uh, dark gray. And then, of course, we've got more... Oh, man. Is this Batman? Oh, there we go. Um... Is this the village people? That's I love it. Um, I don't even remember what half of these are, but dude, he's like, oh, that's so cool! It's a, it's, it's like a a, a a Chinese dragon, 
that got turned into zombies, and the other guy is in the back. Oh, I, I forget half of these. It's been so long. There's Shia LaBeouf. That was an abomination. And, uh, and then some other funny ones here, like cheerleaders and a guy with the rubber duckies. There we go. I bet you Quackalope really likes that one. Right. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Oh, we got the, the one-man bands. I love it. All right, so these are awesome. We got a lot of survivors to look at. Too many for me to keep track of. Uh, but these are all pop culture references uh, for the most part. I'm not even going to be able to remember who all of them are. But yeah, there's a lot of these in here. Most of them, it's easier to tell who they are by looking at their artwork. Oh, that is um, Donald Glover. Yes, I like that pose too. That's just, mm-hmm. That's very symbolic. Oh, is that the, the queen? That's, that's, that's uh, Queen Elizabeth, isn't it? Oh my goodness, yeah. That's so funny. I forget so many of these. Here we go. There's my nunchuck. That's what I, I call dibs on this guy. In every game. Awesome. These are really, really good minis. Really cool. Their, their art style has improved also. It's, um, you know, it's it's in the same style, but the sculpts have just gotten better over the years too. All right, let's do the next pack. All right, so I actually uh, went kind of like a, a semi all-in pledge and I also got these, there's two campaign expansions. The first one here is uh, Washington ZC. And this is a campaign expansion. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about this, but if you wanted to, uh, you know, have a persistent campaign going on, um, it has got some of its own special rules and some interior uh, government buildings as if, you know, somebody were going to try and, and raid the Capitol. Who would have thought that something like that would have happened when they made this, like, years ago? Uh, but, you know, there you go. Um, craziness. Uh, but we've got our own survivors that come with this, as well as uh, there's, like, presidents in this one, and they have uh, some, some of their own rules. And so um, you've got a whole bunch of cards and... Look at the minis. Oh, and then there's extra dice in there, too, which is always good. Uh, I'll say this. You definitely want to have more than six dice for Zombicide when a, in a large player game. Wow, I could get, if I could get this. Oh, there, there it goes. Oh, it's taped. It's taped also. Of course it is. But, uh, you know, like, this is one of those games that's really fun to have a lot of people, like, sitting around a table, and you don't want to all be having to use all well, the exact same pool of dice, so it helps to have extra dice to on each side of the table at least. So people aren't. Oh, my good I can't I can't. <sighs> well, I got it off. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put these you know what, let's just here we go. I'm gonna hold it. We'll just look at some of the some of the survivors. The, I don't even think I'm putting this plastic insert back in here. I don't need it, right? Yeah, let's just take the... The presidents are kind of cool. They're in, like, a nice pink. I don't know who she is. Is she supposed to be an existing president? Yeah, usually the characters in the base games are more of, like, just generic, like, not a specific person. But it's all the stretch goals and stuff that they can kind of model off of other people. All right. There we go. I'm going to put everything back in. Just kind of loosey-goosey. All right, next up is uh, another expansion, uh, campaign expansion for Zombie Size Second Edition. Uh, this is Fort Hendrix, and I'm gonna be truthful with you here in that I already kind of opened this one up ahead of time. Uh, this is our our campaign book and all the different missions, and we've got the day and night clock rules, which is something that's new to these campaigns. We've got oh look at that a crashed helicopter, very cool. Um, and and yeah, I already cut the tape off of these. So able to take that part out. Okay, good. Still, still knocked things over. Still knocked things over. All right, so we've got... Oh, this one has a little bit of writing, so you can write down some of the things that you guys are doing. Oh, that's kind of cool. We've got our, uh, our, our cards there. We've got... Oh, look at that. First Sergeant is going to kill you. Okay. Um, and uh, anyway, we've got uh, all of those cards, and we've got these notes 
look at these notes. Note number two, note number one, note number four. Okay, let's see what they do. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Oh, well, we've got some more dice in here as well. So the dice is always cool. Um, we've got our minis now. We've got a new zombie type uh, of the soldier zombies. I imagine, I believe, I'm pretty sure they're a ranged attack because they have rifles. And I definitely wanted to get these. Um, there's also a, a secondary soldiers pack that just has uh, six more of these. And uh, because in Black Plague you had the archer zombies, and they were uh, especially nasty. So there's our soldiers. There's two different sculpts for these guys, I think. There we go. Nice. And we've got more survivors, all with kind of like this military theme to them. Nice. Ooh, a chainsaw. I love chainsaws in this game. They're real fun. And then I guess we got another VIP or, or something. Cool. All right, cool. So we also have all these other packs. Um, so we've got the zombie soldiers pack, which is just going to be six more of the soldier zombies, um, which are pretty cool. And you know what I might do? I might take the soldier zombies out of Fort Hendrix and put them all in this box so I can keep a, a whole separate zombie type all together. Uh, we've got uh, the Gabriel pack, which is uh, basically, I think that's Christian Bale from, uh, what's oh, that? It was an awesome movie. Um, it was before he got super big too, man. It was uh, the Equalizer, was it Equalizer? No, but it was, they had to take that drug so they had no emotions. Anyway, I, I don't know, I forget the name of the movie now. Uh, we've got another upgrade kit for 1.0 if you had all the special VIP zombies and then the companions, like the dogs and the other human companions. You've got cards for all of those. We've got the presidential box, which this one has all uh, uh, six more survivors. They are all based on presidents. We got, and, and, and instead of giving them the names, they just give them the number, like. It, it, Lincoln is President 16. So you got him, you got Ronald Reagan, you got uh, George W. Bush, you got Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Obama and that, that dude. Now we got Danny Trejo. And uh, <laughs> this is a cool pack right here. Danny Trejo has three different forms. Let me see if I can pull these out. Um, and that's of course Danny Trejo. You can play him as a, a survivor, or he can become a zombie. And if he's a zombie, he starts out as a walker, and he can eventually turn into a, an abomination. So there we go. It is, and of course he's got machete in his hand. This is the first time we've actually had. Wait, I don't know if this is the first time. I think this is the first time that I've actually had somebody who was just like, no, no, yeah, you can put me in there. You don't have to, like, fake me out with somebody else. So this is Walker Trejo. Very cool. And then when he uh, pulls an abomination card of Walker Trejo is on the board, he becomes, oh, man, look at all the machetes he's got in him. Or the machetes he's got in him. Love it. Love it. Very cool. All right. Uh, and then we've got the Urban Legends pack, which is some more abominations. We got, what, four more abominations? Wait, why do they have a different back? If they have a different back, aren't you going to know that they're coming if it... I don't know. I have to read the rules for 2.0 and see all the changes that are made. Because uh, I, I, I'm so used to playing Black Plague lately that um, I have to, I'm going to have to get a refresher on some of this. All right. There we go. So we got some, um, oh yes, the, the crocodile in the sewer or in your toilet. That's a beautiful looking mini. And we've got it. Well, except he's really big it. We've got some, um, I don't know what that is. Reminds me of my mother-in-law. Don't tell her I said that because it's not really true. I just thought it'd be funny. All right, and uh, <laughs> we got a an alien. Very cool. All right, I think I, I, is that it? I think that's it. All right, everybody, that was fun. That's a lot of game. There's a lot of stuff. If you also back to this and you're getting all this stuff, 
I'm going to go ahead and suggest just start with the base game. Uh, from my past experiences, even just a base game of Zombicide is tons of content, lots of stuff. And, and I, honestly, it's almost like overload of stuff. So I would not suggest just mixing everything in and playing like with every type of zombie and everything all at once. Like, like slowly incorporate some of the expansion content once you get used to it. Uh, like my Black Plague setup right now has everything. And it's, uh, it's a nightmare because it's, I think, more abominations than zombies. So by like the end of the first round, you're going to die. So, yeah, it can get, can get pretty crazy. Um, but cool stuff. If you guys like this video, be sure to like the video, subscribe, share the video, comment, let me know all that good stuff. Check the links in the description below. We've got links if you want to check me out on social media. You can check out my website, crabbuck.com, or the merch store, or Patreon if you want to support that. But also, you can jump in Discord and talk about games. We have a lot of Star Wars game communities there for, like, Legion, Armada, and X-Wing, plus more stuff as well and we're very family friendly so check it out i want to thank you guys so much for watching and big thanks to my patrons for continuing to support the channel you guys are amazing thank you so much and as always have a great day